this video, let's take a look at how to analyze a special order. So here's our scenario. A company has a product that B company would like to buy as a special order. They would like to purchase 2000 of the product at $22 a piece. Now A company has the capacity to add this special order. So they are, they are not necessarily using all of the capacity of the equipment to produce uh, for the month. Given we have direct materials of $10, direct labor of $5, variable manufacturing overhead of $3, and fixed manufacturing overhead of $2.50 for a total cost of $20.50. And the regular sales price is $35. So let's take a look at whether or not, given that the company has capacity to produce this special order, whether or not they should take it or not. So here's what we do. We compute the incremental profit or loss from accepting this special order. So the incremental revenue would be the 2,000 units that they're proposing to buy at $22, which is the price that they would like to pay for it. So our incremental revenue would be $44,000. Incremental variable costs would be the 2,000 units times $18. The $18 is the direct materials, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead added together. So the incremental variable cost would be $36,000. So the incremental profit would be $8,000. Basically what's happening here is that we're ignoring the fixed manufacturing overhead because that portion is considered covered by whatever production we're already doing. And so we don't have any extra fixed manufacturing overhead costs. You can also look at this from the standpoint of revenue per unit being $22, the variable cost per unit of $18, we have a contribution margin of $4, which is the difference between those two. Multiply that times the 2,000 units and you get $8,000 as incremental profit. Either way, you come to the same answer. Now, should the company accept this order? Absolutely, because you don't want your machines to be idle and since you're operating at lower capacity, adding more profit is always a good thing. So the $22 is still contributing to your, to your income by $8,000. Now, suppose a special order was offered to you for 2,500 products at $17 price. So uh, calculate the incremental profit or loss. You do the exact same thing here. However, you should know from the very beginning that since our variable costs are $18, the fact that they're offering us $17 for it, you should know just right off the bat that you're going to actually lose money on this deal. And we do the exact same math that we, we did in part one, and it verifies we would lose $2,500 on that sale if we were to take it. Now, the last part of this exercise is assuming the company is at full capacity. So at what price would the company be indifferent about accepting or rejecting a special order? And basically that price is the $35. Because you're already, if you're at full capacity, you're getting the regular price for those products without this special order coming along. You're only considering a special order because you have excess capacity. And so you're analyzing whether or not a lower price would actually be something that's worthwhile to you. So you have a range in there of where you could actually accept a special order if you have capacity to produce it. But if you're producing at capacity and you're producing at your regular price and all that sort of stuff, you wouldn't even accept a special order anyway. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll be happy to help out. See you on the next video.